Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to Rika's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make these tasty and easy fish tuna sticks. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please please kindly do so you don't get to miss any of my videos each and every week. Then stay tuned to enjoy my recipe. On today's ingredients, you're going to need two slices of bread, a handful of coriander leaves, one tablespoon of garlic and one tablespoon of ginger paste, 400 grams of tuna, I've used the canned one or you can use the fresh one, one teaspoon of garam masala, some salt to taste, three medium eggs, You'll also need some vermicelle, the vermicelle we are going to use to decorate our kebabs or our fish sticks at the end. A half a teaspoon of black paper. Some lemon juice or you can use some lime juice. And lastly, one teaspoon of paprika powder. The first step, you're going to remove the water out from the tuna and remove the tuna out from the tin and place it in a medium bowl. The next step, you're going to add the spices which we have mentioned in the beginning. Start by adding some salt to test, one teaspoon of garam masala, a half a teaspoon of black paper, one teaspoon of paprika powder, one tablespoon of garlic and one tablespoon of ginger paste. And lastly, you're going to add the lemon juice or you can use some lime juice and mix everything well and nice. Once you're done mixing the spices with the tuna very well, you're going to place the tuna on a medium pot and cook on a medium heat until the tuna is nicely cooked and completely dry. When you get to see the tuna is starting to becoming dry, lastly you're going to add a handful of coriander leaves and mix well and let the tuna to continue to cook until dry. Once your tuna is slightly cooked and completely dry like this, then your tuna is ready and remove it out from the heat and place it in a medium bowl and let it to cool down a bit. When the tuna has cooled down a bit, you're going to add one egg and mix the tuna and the egg very well. The next step, you're going to take the two slices of bread. One slice of bread, I'm going to remove the crusts. Then afterwards, soak the bread with some water. You can use some fresh water, but personally, I use the water which I have removed from the tuna can. Afterwards, squeeze the water out from the bread and place the bread into the tuna and mix well. The second slice of bread, I won't remove the crusts, I'm going to soak it with some water, then squeeze the water out from the bread, then place the bread into the tuna and mix everything well. After adding the egg and the two slices of bread, your mixture should be like this that you can able to shape your fish sticks. Afterwards, you're going to take a small bowl and add the remaining two eggs and mix the eggs very well and it's high time to shape our fish sticks.
Take a small portion of the fish stick mixture and shape it into a finger shape as you can see in the video. Once you're done, you're going to take a stick and dip it down as you can see in the video. Using your fingers, press it properly so that the stick doesn't come out. And I'm done shaping my fish sticks and it's high time to decorate our fish stick optional. You don't have to do this step, you can fry them immediately. Lastly, you're going to take one fish stick at a time. Using a brush like this or you can use a spoon. Apply the egg wash around the fish sticks and afterwards coat the fish stick with some vermicelle as you can see in the video step by step. Repeat the same process with the other fish sticks until you're completely done. And I'm done decorating my fish sticks and it's high time to fry them in the oil. Place some oil on a medium pan and let the oil to heat up. Once the oil is hot, you're going to dip in the fish sticks and fry them on a medium heat for approximately 3 to 4 minutes. Fry your fish sticks on a medium heat and turn them constantly so that they can cook to have an amazing color on both sides. Once your fish sticks are nicely fried and have this amazing color or the color that you desire, then your fish sticks are ready and remove them out from the oil and serve them on a plate. And our tasty, delicious fish sticks are ready as you can see in the video. They're nicely fried, they have this amazing color and they're so, so tasty. Enjoy with some lime juice and some ketchup or some tamarind sauce or chutney sauce or any sauce that you prefer and enjoy your fish sticks. Thank you for watching my video and hope you loved it. And if you want to see other recipes on how to make different types of Swahili snacks, I'll put the links in the description box. And if you have any questions, you can comment down below or you can follow me on my social media, Facebook and Instagram, Rukia's Kitchen, for further questions. And thank you once again. Bye-bye.